All right. I'm here with Marilee, my wife. You know, she's been kind of missing from the scene, don't you agree? <laughs> yeah. Usually God gives her these words, man, and, and she just comes at you hard and heavy. That could still happen, so stay I've, tuned. I've been doing a lot of praying, though. Yeah. I mean, obviously, for myself and our family and yeah. for, for yeah. other people, too, including all of you. I prayed for you this morning. We did. Yeah. yeah so, uh, you know, and I know, as a matter of fact, please comment on some of the breakthroughs you've had. And by the way, this has been our experience. The breakthroughs often happen weeks or even a month later yep. after a fast. So if you didn't get a breakthrough, keep the expectation in keeping your prayer and meditation time on your things that you wrote down. You know, because believe me when I tell you, I don't think we've ever had a breakthrough during the fast. It is always post fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm just and saying I, that's I, us. And I will tell you that you you do have to keep petitioning God. Yeah. I mean it is it is not one fast, it is not one experience, it is not one prayer answered. And, and as we've learned, it just seems like that list keeps growing with each fast and, yep. the, and the things that move our heart and that we really sure. desire for God to show up about and in are just, they're significant. And when he does, and it, uh, as of course you know, it's always on his time, but um, it's really amazing. What did I read this morning? I, I read basically um, that, look, you go to God, you petition God, but you thank him for hearing your prayers yes and you thank him for basically you know hearing and giving you what you're asking for however in your time lord <laughs> streams your, in the desert your right? will be done yeah um, streams in the it was desert february, february 7th, 7th. <laughs> look it up streams <laughs> yeah. in the desert february 7th yeah. but you know acknowledging that your will be done acknowledging that it's in your time however thank you for hearing my heart in my prayer so that that's a good way to do it and I, I did that this morning all right so you know one of the titles was basically this may be why your fast was so hard and I'll tell you Marilee has fasted more than me I mean she is an amazing faster however <laughs> the, the last um, <laughs> the, the, I would say the last two years of fast a year of fast especially the year last year yes, of fasting, the last year for sure she every fast about day three she would get excruciating hip and low back yeah, actually it would happen at night every oh. single time waking me up and and really yeah and I didn't oh, think yeah. so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway I was always quiet but I got out of bed I had to pace I would walk around and I, I think I've talked about this before my hips and my low back would just ache well I can think I think I can confidently tell you certainly what my experience was and therefore what that translates to for those of you that have that experience and the bottom line is an upstream infection yeah. because um so as many of you know a year ago i had cavitation surgery in april and cavitations for new people which that, that what happens is especially when you get wisdom teeth or any tooth extracted what happens is it heals over but it heals over and leaves a cavity right a cavitation infection builds up 20 25 even 30 years later symptoms start not pain never pain here but autoimmune all kinds of different pain syndromes etc and anyways that's what was happening with with Marilyn. so when i did the cone beam and did the cavitation surgery and and i had some resolution like some some things i could tell were better like sinus related um but we decided to do another one a year later, just thinking still there might still be some infections or still some symptoms I was having. Well, and, the my, and the back pain, which was yeah. very significant. It was, it was Debilitating to points, yeah. I mean, you know, I bought belts that I could. Oh, we did everything. I couldn't squat. I couldn't, I couldn't squat at the gym. Like that would just, couldn't do that anymore. So anyway, when um, we went back just in April, April it was, and Jerry had, we Dr. Took a, Jerry Cavett. <laughs> yes, so we took another, did another cone beam, and he still saw one small pocket left in, in that one cavitation. It was the really big one. So he went in and opened it up, and it didn't have the infection, the green and the black and the crap that was in the other one. You see one. that stuff. But, um, and so, got rid but, of it. but two days later, so we flew two days later from there to Nashville for your mm -hmm. seminar, and I rashed out on this side of my body. That was really the only symptom I had. I didn't yeah. have any other indicators. But I will tell you, the most impressive thing of all is when I got in his chair, I still had back pain and hip pain that day. And I got out of his chair and it was gone. She never had pain. And by the way, I, I haven't had it since we went through this fast. That was months ago. Yeah. And I did, I did do the partial fast. Of course, I had asked my but husband the question. we did two days question. of dry fasting, which actually the dry fast with me was so autophagy related. 
Um, I got like an area that I knew needed healing. That area killed me. Her hips, nothing. Nothing. First yep. time yep. in I didn't even have a headache. Yeah. I didn't even have a headache. Yeah, yeah. so I no hip pain, excited. no nothing. So the point is this, your fast may be hard because you have an upstream toxic issue, but these hidden infections, they're a big deal, especially with pain. So uh, Tommy, a client of mine, um, he had 21 years of pain. Matter of fact, if you dig back, I actually did a Facebook Live. I'm gonna find it, Dylan, and we're gonna link it. I did a Facebook Live with him, and literally out of the chair after getting two infections at these cavitations clear, 21 years of pain, he texted me, is it possible then that it could be gone? Mm -hmm. This gentleman's successful. He had the ability, he went to the best of the best, functional medicine doctors, started regular uh, medicine, making him worse, Functional medicine went to the best nothing and we started detoxing the metal out of his brain that got his brain fog and his energy and anxiety Better, but the pain was still there. And we found this hidden infection game changer. Uh, we'll link that to you, but oh watch episode 274 and you'll hear her, her story. You'll see these cavitations I show how her sinus was inflamed from the infection going up in there so episode on cellular healing TV on my website Sally Healing TV, episode 274. Watch it. Yeah, and so you'll get to hear and that I just story. wanted to tell yeah. those of you that also have that experience because we have discussed that, that look for upstream causes of hidden infection. All right, huh? That's my story. Cool. All right, I'm going to show you something fun now. This is my, here's the key. By the way, I didn't congratulate you. Um, Dylan, do we need to turn the, maybe turn the light up a little bit so they can see? Turn it up just a tad. Good? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I didn't congratulate you, day five, and some of you have already broken your fast, so congrats, huge. Here's the deal, stem cells are at their highest today, regardless of what fast you do. But the key is though, you wanna feed the stem cells correctly. And remember I said the worst thing you could do, and if you didn't see the video yesterday, how to break the fast, see that video. But the worst thing you can do is just shock the system and what happens is, is you take the wind out of your stem cells. Not good, it can actually be dangerous. So your hydrochloric acid's low, you go slow. Watch the video, okay. But we wanna feed the stem cells with things that absolutely help cells. Kinda of makes sense, doesn't it? You know, so we want things to help cells. Now, most of you are familiar with the benefits of turmeric, which is incredible for your cells. Your immune system, why is it so good for your immune system? Because it's so good for your white blood cells. And ginger, obviously ginger has an amazing healing effect for your gut, but it also affects your cells. It helps glucose receptors, insulin receptors, the cell membrane, down regulates inflammation, both of them. So therefore, we wanna take in some really high concentrations of these types of superfoods. So, this is one way. Now, here's what I do. So, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, maybe not, okay, there it is. So, um, look, I'm gonna give you a little other advice. This, all this is going to be for Marilee and I. So I have like about that much. I'm gonna make a little bit. Normally I make a way lot more of this, but a little bit because I don't wanna to put too much in my stomach and shock it. Ginger in this can be really hot. Matter of fact, uh, my wife has to force it down because it's too hot. But I give you a little tip. Put a little stevia in with it. It definitely helps. So by the way, this is uh, an Omega juicer. You can buy these online for like 150 to 200 bucks now. You don't need anything fancier than this. So there, there goes the uh, turmeric. Tighten that up so I don't lose so much juice. And then the ginger. Now again, I'm making a small amount. If I was normally doing this, I would definitely make, I make myself a whole glass, believe it or not. Um, Marilee probably drinks a half a glass. Now. So you just, you know, everyone always says, how much is our ginger are you using? No, just go to how much juice you want. I'm just looking to give us both a shot right now. Tomorrow, I'll increase it more, and I'll do this for as many days as I can. Definitely try to do it for at least three days after, and then you can just be more random after that. But these, these first three days are really critical. We wanna feed ourselves really good stuff. So um, the other thing you could do with this is, you could add, you could add a little blueberries, but you lose so much of the juice. I just, I'd rather eat them. But you could add some celery to this. I didn't do that because I don't have it, but that would be the other addition. Celery 
is very anti-inflammatory. Matter of fact, celery juice helps pain, as well as turmeric and ginger. They both actually help pain. I mean, that's how de-inflammatory this is. So all we're doing here is giving our stem cells a chance to really work. So this is how much, I'm gonna throw this under here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose a little juice, but that's all right. Um, so that, that's about it. I mean, that's about, let me get a glass. Hold on one second, we're gonna move over here. So I'm just kind of giving you an idea how much I want to do. I kind of know what, how much it makes. I just want to do a shot each. That's it for the first day, okay? That's about it, all right? And then tomorrow, I'm gonna do about that much. Mara, Mara will do about that much. <laughs> all right, so that gives you an idea. Let's feed the stem cells. And you know, I had that other product yesterday, um, that turmeric product, if you watch the video, um, I didn't put it in the picture, but um, you can check that out, and that's a turmeric juice. And you can also get a product like that and add it to the drinks. But I'm telling you, there's nothing better than this. Now, this is done here without stevia. Let's see. Oh, God, that is hot. Oh, my God. That's why you want to do a little bit right now. I'm telling you, when I say this, the stevia is the key. You can cut that with water, too. For some reason, it's really, I guess because I fasted, I usually can hand one. I'm pretty tough. Um, yeah, I'd water that down a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put my little protein stuff in there that I used for the, the partial fast, right? I'm sorry, the fat mix. And I'm gonna put a little water in this. Ah, just for fun, let's just watch what happens to me. Dylan, isn't there a guy on YouTube that drinks like anything? Yeah. Steve will do it. He gets way more views than me, man. Oh my God. Uh, he's not even changing the world. I'm trying to make a difference here. Oh, maybe I should start doing that more. Oh, okay. You might want to just share the video just for that. All right. Please put in the comments how your last day of the fast was and how breaking the fast is, okay? Because, again, everyone needs to hear it. More importantly, put in some transformations that already happened. Put in some of the things. Comment on some of the um, pains that you had, like healing that occurred years ago. So we call it retracing. I call it energy diversion. And... In the next couple days, let's see what happens. Feed your stem cells. Your stem cells are gonna go in, man, and they're just gonna start healing like crazy. Don't drink alcohol this week, okay? Just give it a break. Stem cells, you know, they make their way around your body and they, a lot of them end up in the liver, especially the first three days, by the way. So don't do that. So please, I mean, maybe one, after three days, all right, you can have one glass of wine, but no heavy drinking. Pay attention, this is the time, get back, remember yesterday's video, get back into ketosis, get back into the intermittent fasting, pick your eating window, shrink it, and get back into the diet variation. All right, feast famine, you know, go right back there. Eventually I'm gonna tell you how to move out of ketosis because we don't wanna stay in this ketotic state. And that's, uh, and I'm gonna bring some fun people on that cook better than me to show you how to do healthy, higher carbs. So stay tuned for that. All right, man, there it is, fun stuff. I'll see you on the next video.